When you think of the revitalization project, what concerns, if any, do you have about its impact on housing in Coney Island? Well, that depends on which Coney Island we're talking about here. Again, we have this part of Coney Island, and we have the other part where people are on a higher level of income. In this part of Coney Island, we, the revitalization project, as we've seen it, is not going to help us at all. There's no money coming here to upgrade, you know, the, the uh, extreme uh, horrible conditions that people are living in in these projects, for one thing, where there is, uh, these projects are run by the drug dealers because they're territorial, and we understand that their business of operations happens within the walls of the, of, of the housing units that, and, the, and all of the drug wars and, 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 and the shootings are all re related in terms, interrelated with the projects. It's Coney Island Houses is shooting at Gravesend, and Gravesend is shooting at Surfside. And, and so what happens in this community is that the projects on every given block are named. Coney Island Houses are the projects by the water. Gravesend houses are the ones on this side by the bay. And all of the 57 high rises here are, they're, they're named in, in the group of buildings that they represent. So now the, the gangs own the name of the unit. So they have become the Coney Island houses, don't come on my territory. Gravesend owns Gravesend, drug dealers. So what I'm trying to say is that the crime that has been imposed on the people that live in the projects is not their crime. This is the uh, absolute territorial planning of violence and drugs. So we have now become a part of those of us that live in these projects. Uh, we have become a part of a landlord that the city never talks about, and the landlord is the drug dealer. And, and when, 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 the, when, when a little boy comes out of his apartment at five years old, he's told, if you want your mother to live, you're going to take this package and you're going to take it over there and give it to that person. Because they know that children at that age cannot be arrested. And then if you tell your mother, I'm going to kill you. And, the, and, the, and, it's a, it, and this multiplies as the child gets older. He gets more involved because he's drawn into something he didn't want to be drawn into. So the housing is a mess on that level. And then materially speaking, it's, the buildings are falling apart because of the uh, devastation of crime and people that don't care and people that are running these, uh, these, uh, these, these good people out of Coney Island that are in the building. The, the, of course, the families of these drug dealers are in the projects because these are the children of the children of the children. And um, because of this reason, there's urine in the halls, there's urine in the elevators, there's garbage thrown uh, around everywhere. People walk around the halls naked because they're high. There's filth, there's squalor, there's even um, uh, rodents and roaches and mice infestation to the point that uh, it's, in, it's almost incurable, to use a word. And we know something. The, there's it's been some documentation that these kinds of insects and these kind and my, mice droppings and rat droppings, whatever, cause disease. And asthma, I believe, is associated to the um, to the roaches in some. So there's a lot that goes on that manifests itself, and the thing has mushroomed into like like the atomic bomb here to the point that the only thing the city's going to come up with, we know, in the end, is to say, let's just take it all down. Not don't fix it. Don't help fix it as it's deteriorating. Let's just get rid of it all. So when you get rid of that, you get rid of all the people. And then you're able to build the kind of community that you want to build to sustain the new Coney Island that's coming in for the $4 billion, where the hotels will be, and, and the restaurants, and the businesses, and, and, the, and the condos that are going to start at 400000 and up for people. Of course, we can't afford that down here. So in order to bring sustainability to the new kingdom, they're going to have to come into the old kingdom, get rid of it, 
and built it up because there is no plan for us. It seems to me that in most of the families that we have known over the four generations that I've been here, my parents had died uh, 20 years ago, so uh, that when the, uh, the younger generations come back to bury the older generations, which are their mothers